Joan and Suzanne join us now to talk about an upcoming event. They're, they're really neighbors in a sense because they're over in Belmont, which is close to us. So, so we'll say your neighbors. How's that? Yes, that's yeah. good. Suzanne, just if you could tell us about the work of the Social Justice Committee at the New Roads Catholic Community. Okay, we're a relatively new group. We we're just really? about four years, okay. right? And um, we operate, we actually began through uh, faith, faith sharing and we used um, scenes from a parish to do that. And um, our group, through faith sharing, decided to become a social justice group. And the way we operate is that the passions of some of the members lead the way. And um, what's happened now is we have four subcommittees each led by, they're facilitated by four people who are very passionate about the topics. Mm -hmm. the, um, one of the topics is the encyclical, this is brand new. Um, homelessness, uh, human sexual trafficking, and Joan facilitates refugees and immigrants, mm -hmm. that subcommittee. So that's how we work. How many people are involved in this? I'm just curious. It's okay. Um, at any given time, there could be anywhere from 18 to 20 people it's that a good attend. Number. Yes, it is. It's really a very good number. Well, and Joan, so you have an upcoming, not you personally, but the group has an upcoming forum, and you're originally from Ireland. Yes, I am. Right. So this yeah. is this is hits home with you. So tell us about the forum. Tell us about immigration, refugees. Let's let's hear it all. Refugees are very much in the news these days, and I think the plight of the refugees touches all of our hearts. We can listen to the news, we get the information in here, but when we meet individual refugees and immigrants struggling, then we feel kind of inspired to do something about it. And what our committee did not want to do was duplicate what other organizations locally are doing. So we connected with the Archdiocese, uh, Refugees and Immigration Services, and I also work with the Watertown um, Citizens for Peace, Justice and the Environment. They have a refugee support group. And what I found is there are so many groups out there working. We need to collaborate more. Mm -hmm. So we started planning this uh, forum over a year ago, and it has kind of snowballed, really. Um, from what we've learned and from people we've met. So we have two keynote speakers, Marjean Perhot from the Archdiocese, who is the Director of Refugee and Immigration Services, is our first keynote speaker. We also have um, Gabriel Camacho. He is the Immigrant Specialist for the American Friends Service Committee. Uh, we have an Irish immigration attorney, Christopher Lavery, who is going to do a response. But I think the core of the forum for us has become the refugees. Currently, we have, I think, five or six refugees who are willing to give testimony. We've um, some from Syria, uh, Burma, Congo, uh, Haiti, um, and El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a couple of uh, people who are working with the refugees who are going to talk about how they help and how we can help. And we then also have a legislative panel um, who will get some questions from the immigration lawyer. But again, the core of it is the immigrants and the refugees. Mm. Um, isn't, isn't part of it too, and I think you, you hit upon it, Joan, a little bit, that we have to put a face to it. It's easy to say mm. numbers. You see, oh, well, there's these exactly. numbers and that number. But until you talk to a person, and that's why yeah. I love that you can have these five people, right. at least yeah. five, who will yeah. be giving witness. Yeah. And, until you talk to and hear their story and their plight, it isn't real to us. It's not. And as an immigrant myself, I know what it was like to come to a new country, but at least I spoke the same language. Mm -hmm. um, I've also worked with a young woman from Cape Verde and her family helped them get... Uh, was it scary uh, when you came over? It was because I came from a small f farm outside of Tralee in Ireland onto the Santa Ana Freeway in California. It was my first stop over. It's a little different. <laughs> it was the closest thing to landing on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, Suzanne, a lot of people will say, not a lot, but people will say, well, why are parishes involved in all this stuff? I, and I hear about this starts from just a, a group getting together, praying together, and all of a sudden they said, well, let's, let's deal with homelessness and, okay. and refugees. What do you say to those people say, uh, parishes just stay with the, you know, with the, the prayers, don't go into this other stuff, because that's not the, what we're called to do, right? Right. Um, I think through the faith sharing 
the spiritual part of this is really um, following Christ and this is really what Jesus would want us to be doing. And so the folks that are touched by that become very involved in every one of the members of this committee, they're just there all the time trying to help mm -hmm. no matter what subcommittee they serve on. So it's really a unique group and I'm sure there's plenty of other people who could be moved by this, mm -hmm. but it's through the gospel. Yeah, and, and when you say unique, it might, it might in a sense be unique, but it's probably something that should be replicated so that other parishes could do something like this, yeah. which would be very, very nice. Yeah. What's your hopes for this, Joan? What's your hopes that this forum will, will do? The goals of the forum, actually, we have three main goals. One is educational, give mm -hmm. people the information. The other is inspirational from listening to the refugees. But very important is a call to action. We want people not just to get the information and walk away, but to find out how they can become involved in helping refugees. That's mm -hmm. why we have organizations with display tables where we're hoping people will sign up to actually get involved and help people. Well, let's give, give me a date, give me uh, um, who can attend, which is everyone, I'm sure, yes. and where can people find information? The information will be uh, is on the website, um, Catholic, sorry, uh, newroadscommunity.org. Uh, um, we also have sent out flyers uh, to uh, about 20 major organizations. We've networked with the parishes. Um, the event itself will take place at St. Joseph Parish Hall uh, Sunday afternoon, um, October 2nd, from 1.30 to 3.30 approximately. There'll be time also after the forum for people to connect and network together. Well, ladies, thank you so much thank for you. being thank with you. us today thank and you. giving us your time, and thank you.